Thank you. Lord Armin. Uh, Sir Gerald, thank you very much. Um, and thank you for your leadership during this visit and uh, the European campaign. Um, for a young man uh, who traveled across the desert for eight hours from Cairo, uh, you did very well um, everywhere as the, the leader of the group, and we thank you for that. Uh, for me, uh, seeing is believing. I was also with uh, Baroness Tong and Claire Short uh, in November 2008 when we visited Gaza. Um, but this time, when we visited um, the area Kayu Islam uh, and uh, other areas which have been completely demolished with the bombing and with the F-16s and helicopter gunships. And Sir Gerald mentioned uh, the young girl uh, from the Samuni family, Mona, uh, the 13-year-old, who described to us in full detail on how the 97 members of their family were taken. And these are not, any one of them did not belong to any political party. They're just farmers. Yeah. They're just ordinary people of Gaza. And so when the Israelis keep talking about uh, this uh, being targeted at uh, Hamas or terrorists or others, this family categorically said that they had nothing to do with politics or any political parties. So um, I agree with everything that has been said. This is a collective punishment of 750,000 children of Gaza. Half of the Gaza's 1.5 million is under 18. And I think that um, the war crimes that are being committed um, uh, have to be pursued and uh, all I could, can say is that we urge our government and parliamentarians here that there should be no appeasement statements or appeasement policy that we will change our law and the Israeli um, state terrorist would be welcomed in the United Kingdom. There, if there is any attempt by the government then I think all parliamentarians have to stand up for international law and we would have to fight the government and anyone else on this particular issue. Thank you, Sir Josh. Thank you very much indeed.